Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. This video is in continuation with my previous video which I posted yesterday in which I was uh, I was discussing about the row and columnar file formats. So in, in this today's video, I'll be talking about what are the formats available actually because uh, the previous video only explained the like the uh, use cases of row and columnar means uh, what's the advantage we get with the row based file formats what's the advantage we get with the columnar based file formats but i haven't explained the actual file format so today i'll be explaining the three file formats with the likes of evro parquet and orc let's get started so first of all whenever you choose any file format it should be giving it should be giving you some benefits so what are the benefits we in which we look for in any file format first faster read times Obviously, what we want is that whenever we are trying to read some data, it should be done in no time, faster read times. In the same way, whenever we want to write some data, again, it should be quite quite fast, okay? Faster write times. Third, splittable files. Splittable files, uh, this thing comes from the uh, background of distributed computing, meaning is like the multiple tasks can run parallel on the parts of the file. Again, uh, when we talk about the big data or Hadoop or whatever the other frameworks, we always say that we should be having concept of distributed computation. The things should run in parallel, right, at the same time. This is the point. Splittable files means multiple tasks can run parallel on the different parts of a file. Next one is schema evolution support. Meaning is, it should the file format should allow us to change schema of a file. Schema of a file meaning is we can easily add some columns. We can easily delete some columns in this way. Last is advanced compression support. Uh, the file format should the file should support advanced compression through various available compression codecs with the likes of snappy bzip2 lzo etc so these are some of the benefits that if, uh, you'll get with the any file format so some of the file formats are designed for general use right like uh, csv jsons so others are designed for more specific use like we have this like Whenever you have certain certain uh, like maybe use case, let's suppose in which we have a lot of columns available, right? So which which file format to use in that case, right? So we have uh, some specific use cases available, like we can use Parquet for in that case, and some are designed with the specific data characteristics in mind. It means not every time you will go with the like the predefined CSV file format. You have to choose it appropriately when it comes to a particular use case. So first format for today is Evro file format, very common, very popular file format. So Evro is a row based storage format. I've already have explained in the previous um, video that we have got two different categories of file formats, so row oriented and column oriented. This is a row oriented in which we store data row wise. It's, uh, it is a row based storage format for Hadoop, which is widely used in serialization platform. What's the meaning of serialize? Means converting the objects or data structures into binary format why we change why we convert it so that i can store the things easily or efficiently in the storage or while transporting data on the network it will be very easy for you uh, without any overhead you can easily transport the data from one end to other end on the channel over the network that's why we always go for the serialized and deserialized things deserialized meaning is converting the binary back to the objects so it's a serialization platform so Evro stores the schema in JSON format. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Very, very popular format alongside CSV, make, making it easy to read and interpret by any program. The data itself is stored in a binary format, making it compact and efficient. As I've already stated, obviously, if you're storing the things in a binary format, it will be making it compact and efficient. So it's a language neutral data serialization system. It means we don't, it's not depending upon any particular specific language as Evro can be processed by many languages with the likes of C, C++, C Sharp, Java, Python, and Ruby. So a key feature of Evro is the robust support. Robust meaning is quite durable, right? For a data schemas that changes over time, like we have some dynamic changes happening in the schema, schema evolution. So it's good for that scenarios when you have a, a things got changing over the time. So it handles schema changes with the likes of uh, missing fields, adding fields, or changing fields. So what are the different use cases of Evro file format? First, it's good for the write heavy operations, right? I've already have said this in a previous video, like when, when I was discussing the pros and cons of the row oriented storage and the columnar oriented storage, the row oriented storage always good for the write heavy operations. When writing, uh, second use cases, when writing speed with schema evolution, 
is critical means how easily you can adapt to the changes in metadata so in that case when you have to deal with the writing speed with the schema evolution when it is quite critical that your writing speed should in sync with the schema evolution we should go with the avro file format next one is a parquet file format the parquet is an open source file format for hadoop which stores the nested data structure in a flat columnar format so whenever you are talking about parquet we the very first thing comes to our mind is columnar oriented storage or columnar file formats that i have already said in the previous my video that you store the rel related fields together right this is the advantage we get with the columnar format so compared to the traditional approach like row oriented where data is stored in a row oriented approach parquet is more efficient in terms of storage and performance it's already been said it's already been like it's a fact that when you are storing the things in the columnar oriented storage you get the things you, you query the things you get the response time quite faster it is especially good for queries that read particular columns from a wide wide meaning is the table will have a the table with many columns since only needed columns are read and io means input output is minimized so it is good for those queries which read some particular columns from very bigger table the table which contain multiple columns since only the required columns will be read we don't have to like iterate or we don't have to like maybe scan the other unnecessary columns so that the input and output can be minimized so parquet can store data with the nested structures in a columnar fashion too it means that in a parquet file format even the nested fields can be read individually without the need to read all the fields it's it, it's advantageous that in the row in the in the columnar oriented storage you always get a benefit that you will be only reading those columns which are required we don't have to read those columns which are not required right why to unnecessarily like uh, overhead the things or what 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 unnecessarily like uh, read the columns okay which lead to the overhead of the uh, like the the maybe with respect to the cpu time and with respect to the response time right so in this case uh, in the case of parquet even the nested fields can be read individually we don't uh, without the need of to read all the fields in nested structure even though it 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 stored data in nested data structure still uh, in, in in by remaining in the next nested data structures we only read those columns which are required okay not the other fields this is how the parquet thing look like i don't want to go uh, deep inside it it's uh, out of the scope of, of this video so next is orc file format apache orc the optimized row columnar which is uh, that's why its abbreviation is orc optimized row columnar file format provides a highly efficient way to store data it was designed to overcome uh, the limitation of other file formats it ideally stores data compact and enables skipping over irrelevant parts without the need for large complex or manually maintained indices we all have studied in the uh, dbms uh, subject the concept of indices indexes right so in this case it help us uh, skipping over irrelevant parts without need for large complex and manually maintained indices we always maintain a separate table in which we have to maintain the index uh, information and all so in this case it is overcoming that problem right as already has said that it enables skipping over irrelevant parts without the need for large complex or manually maintained indices so it's is highly compact highly efficient file format it was designed and optimized specifically with the hive data in mind we all have studied i've already have separate playlist available for apache hive so it's a, a data warehouse tool okay it was designed for that improving the overall performance when hive reads writes and process the data so the for for that purpose it got developed now it is one of the very uh, widely used file format this is how the uh, things look like in the case of orc file format so let's let's now compare the three file formats together So first is I'm making a comparison between Avro and Parquet. Avro is a row-based uh, storage format, whereas Parquet is a columnar-based storage format. Second, the Parquet is much better than much better for analytical querying. That is, reads and querying are much efficient than writing. So in the case of the Parquet, uh, as I've already st stated in the previous video as well, whenever the uh, whenever we talk about the re read um, so, uh, sorry row. uh base storage a row based format it's always good for the writing right uh, as far as the uh, uh we talk about the reading is concerned it's always good in the case of columnar format so parquet is a columnar based format in which you can see that the querying are much efficient than writing write operations in avro are better than in parquet so these are three differences 
uh, if we talk about Evro and Parquet. If we have to compare ORC versus uh, ORC and Parquet, let's get uh, done it. In this case, last point of this uh, particular video. In this, the Parquet is more capable of storing nested data, which we already discussed. ORC supports asset properties. Asset properties indicates atomicity, consistency, isolation, durability, one of the fundamental properties when we study in our DBMS. ORC is more compression efficient. It means it's good for, it's more uh, efficient in like compressing a data in, the, in terms of compression. So this, this uh, marks the end of this video in which I try to explain the different file formats, their use cases, their advantages, their drawbacks. I hope you must have uh, uh, got some knowledge out of it. In case if something is not clear, if I have, have said something wrong in it, you simply feel free to uh, comment on this video. I'll be happy to address that comment. Thanks for watching guys. See you next video.